Hi, and welcome to this video series on Introduction to Microsoft Excel 2007. Today our topic is New Look and Feel. This is being brought to you by LearningComputer.com. Where is the file menu? If you are new to Office 2007, you may be asking yourself this question. Well, Microsoft Office 2007 has replaced the menu and the standard toolbar with a new feature called the ribbon. This new interface improves the workflow which translates to more efficient use of the application. The ribbon is broken down into tabs that deal with a specific document action. The tabs are in turn split into groups of commands with a more focused functionality. So the whole idea behind this is to let the end user be more productive and spend less time looking for commands. In the older versions, there were times when you maybe uh, had done something in the past but you could not remember how to get there and you spent a lot of time looking for functionality. So with this new interface uh, things are really simplified. So as far as today's agenda let's go down the list. We will go over the uh, Office 2007 button. We'll talk about the ribbon which is like I mentioned split into tabs and groups. We'll uh, discuss rows, columns and cells. We will also look at the uh, name box and the formula bar. Then we will go over the quick access toolbar and the title bar. We will uh, experiment with the mini toolbar and the right click menu. We will talk about uh, keyboard shortcuts for a little bit. And then finally we'll uh, discuss status bar which includes the workbook view bar and the zoom toolbar. So quite a few things to talk about. Uh, we will essentially highlight the important points regarding all of these. So the first is the Office 2007 button and I've included a screenshot. It is basically this uh, round button you'll see in the top left corner and you could also see that here in uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. But essentially uh, Office 2007 button replaces the file menu available in previous versions of Microsoft Office. This provides functionality common to all Office applications like Word, Excel, Outlook. So it's uh, consistent across the board. The Office 2007 button includes commands for opening, saving, printing and closing a file. So pretty much uh, essentially the same thing like I mentioned as a file menu. Now the commands are going to be listed on the left side and the recently opened workbooks will appear on the right side. And using the Excel options button you can further customize your settings. So let's go ahead and see this action. For today's uh, lesson in our Excel workbook we are looking a, at a grade uh, grades example essentially gradebook example. We have the students on the left side. We have our assignment scores uh, and test scores listed along, uh, along the top here, along the columns essentially. And you'll notice that we have actually gone ahead and done uh, some computation also. Uh, we will uh, not really be discussing those in detail, but uh, I essentially have included those. So Coming back to the office uh, button, it's basically when you move your mouse over here, you'll notice that it's highlighted. Now when you click on it, uh, you'll see two separate panes, if you will. On the left side, you have your common commands. So if you wanted to start a new workbook, uh, you wanted to open up an existing one, um, possibly save the file that you're working on, do print and other options, okay, and then close the document. So these are commands lifted, uh, listed on the left. On the right side you'll notice that we basically are tracking some of the uh, uh, recent Excel workbooks that I worked on. So it's sort of like a shortcut you can get to them if you need to open one again. Now under the Excel options if you click on that this is basically I believe this used to be under tools uh, and customize or tools options where you can uh, essentially set some of the global parameters and they are broken down by an area so this one is just the popular commands you could fine-tune your formulas definitely have options for proofing and uh, whatnot so good place to uh, know 
where you can set some of these settings. So that was essentially the Office 2007 button. Um, coming back to uh, the ribbon, it says it's all about the ribbon. So once again, uh, Office 2007 has replaced the menu and the standard toolbar with a new feature called the ribbon. The ribbon is really designed to help you quickly find the commands that you need to complete a task. And essentially this improves the overall workflow in the Microsoft Office applications. All the related commands are organized into groups which are collected together under tabs that are specific to a certain action item. To reduce the clutter, some of these tabs, also known as contextual tabs, are shown only when needed. So for example, if you were working on a table, uh, you will get a tools tab only when your table is selected. So I've uh, included a screenshot. We will look at this in a minute, but basically this whole area above your uh, workbook is known as the ribbon. You have tabs going up this way and you have the groups down this way. So let's see this in action. So currently you'll notice that we are on the home tab and uh, as we toggle from one tab to another we are getting different sets of commands and also we are getting different groups down here. You'll notice that right now we have function library when I go to my insert tab which obviously has to do with inserting objects notice that it's broken down by different types you could insert a table so that would fall under the tables group if you're trying to add pictures and whatnot that would go in the illustrations group so it's very logical and uh, you know it's it's organized in a really nice manner where you are able to find exactly what you are looking for and one quick uh, thing about the ribbon is that uh, let's say you get familiar with this and you want to maximize your working space you could simply double click this and this will go away when you double click on it again it comes right back so that was the ribbon moving on we have a few important things that are specific to Microsoft Excel and the title is rows slash columns slash cells uh, name box and then the formula bar. So everything in Excel 2007 is defined by a cell. A cell is nothing really more than a location at the intersection of a row let's say 1 and a column maybe A. So where these two things meet we have a cell which would be A1. Now a cell range is used when you have more than one cell for example, cells B15 through K15 highlight the average of our class, class assignments. And we will uh, just see this in a minute, but let's uh, continue talking about some of these things. The name box really highlights your cell location. And then finally, the uh, formula bar is an invaluable tool which is used in function, calculations, and computation. So, so let's go back to our workbook. And so what I'm saying is everything in Excel really is defined by the column, which is up here. So A, B, C, D, E, F, these are all columns and rows, which are essentially going across. So currently I have uh, row number 10 selected. So when we go to our first cell, okay, it's an uh, intersection of A and then row 1. So it's A1 and you'll notice that this is highlighted in up here which is the name box. As I click in different cells you'll notice this value is changing. So you don't always necessarily need to look at the column, look at the row. I mean you can simply look at this value and know exactly where you are. Now the formula bar is up here. Notice when we hover over uh, scores it's just displaying the actual value but what happens if I come down here look at that now it is actually changed into a formula where it's saying okay compute the average for cells H6 through H14 okay so H6 through H14 would be this and when you select multiple cells this is essentially called a cell cells range okay